Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, Divi Supreme Modules plugins have just brought out a new module. If I scroll down, there it is. It's a block text reveal module, and uh, like it says, if I refresh that. It's got that little color block gradient that goes across it and reveals the text. Quite a cool little thing. Like I say, they've just brought this module out. Really easy to use. So let's get this done. Let's enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. It's right here. I'm just going to add a new module. I've got a section, the blue one, a row with two columns. I'm just going to add the Divi Supreme block reveal text reveal module to the second column here. So I'm going to hit the add new module. By default, all these light gray ones are the ones that come with Divi itself. Divi themes fantastic, keeps getting better and better. There's these WooCommerce have just been added recently. Now these sort of dark blue purpley ones are the ones you get with Divi Supreme modules. Now the one we want today is up the top here somewhere. There it is, Supreme Block Reveal Text. So I'm just going to click on that and insert it in there. As you can see, it plops one in by default. Now you can use any text you want in there. I guess I'll copy what I did before. And if you want to take the Divi theme for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below. And also, you'll find my affiliate link to Divi Supreme modules down there. Okay, so I've copied some text. You can just have a title if you want to. That, that's pretty uh, eye-catching just with a title, but you can put in pretty much as much text as you'd like to put in there. So let's go over to the next module down, Block Reveal Animation. I'll just put this over here. And you can choose the color. I think I used green before, but it really doesn't matter. You can choose the animation direction, left to right, right to left, top to bottom, bottom to top. So choose what you like. If you want to delay it, you can do so by sliding this slider up or typing in a value there. If you want to link your module, obviously you do it there in background. It's the same as any other Divi module. You can design it just how you will. I'm going to go over to the design tab. Now my text, I think I'm going to have that centered. I'll make it capitals. And I'll do what I did with this one that's below this module. I'll just give it a little border, top and bottom. So let's go down a border right here. You can do all of them at once, or you can do the top, which I'm going to do right now. I'll just give it one pixel. There it is right there. And I'll do the bottom also, one pixel. And I want to give it a little bit of space in between. So we'll go back up to spacing, to padding. I'll give it 20 pixels, top and bottom. Just put the 20 in, it'll put the pixel value in there for you. There we are, and we're pretty much done. I don't really want to change anything else. You can go in and tweak it and, like I say, delay the time and do whatever you want. But that is pretty much it. So let's save this. Save our changes. Save draft or publish. Once done, let's exit the visual builder and see what we've got. Once loaded, let's go down to where we were. And there you have it. There's your two little text block reveal modules. Not sure you'd want two the same beside each other. But that's a cute little effect. That's going to draw people's eyes to that particular section. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.